What's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours real of course, this guy under, and we're up for the third gym against Esquilo, the fire monster, the just molten gym leader, and he's a very very dangerous opponent, and last time I went up against him, I lost terribly in previous session or season, so this is pretty much the re-return, um, I did bring the team fold this time. And I was seeing what is going on with this guy. This is a person that I know is a very, very smart battler and a generally good person. Um, I'm enjoying a lot of Joe chatting with him, just thinking about sets and stuff like that. He's very good, uh, so definitely check him out on Twitter. Um, so his team here, of course, is full with dangerous fire Pokemon. We got Rodan, Infernape, Ninetales, um, Typhlosion, which is his favorite Pokemon. I got Chump to kind of, I guess, get some momentum, and of course, a Talonflame. Talonflame is super super annoying to deal with and especially for my team consider that um, I may or may not have brought the wrong wrong Hippowdon for this so I'm obviously using Hippowdon, Sigilith, Rotom, Southland, Excadrill and Dranitar and uh, I did decide to bring uh, Hippowdon this time and use an Assault Vest to Ranitar this time around instead of the Smooth Rock set and uh, I just wanted to really try it out and I know since my opponent was fire team that this Tyranitar might do a whole, whole lot better than the other Tyranitar set. So basically I was gonna start off with setting up self rocks, that was my main idea and we're gonna see what happens from, from that point. So with all this in mind guys, let's go. So yeah, from the get go, he is actually gonna start with the Talon Flame, and uh, yeah, I thought okay, I can set up Self Rocks. I, 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 I'm, I'm fine with this. I really am. But I'm going to get so badly predicted here, and he's actually gonna go for a Taunt. I should have really seen this coming. Uh, I really should have, but you know, I decided to act upon my gut and decided to go for Self Rocks. Obviously. I can't do a whole lot here, so I thought, right, if you want to start to attack me or we'll go for a will o -Wisp, then my uh, Rotom should probably be able to deal with that. And I'm sure as hell think that that would work if he did not switch out himself, predicting probably that to happen. So at this point, I was fearing that he could potentially set up or even worse, go for a substitute. So I thought that I should go for Hydro Pump in case of that and then force a switch. But I do miss the Hydro Pump, and that just made things a whole lot worse. A whole lot worse. So he is behind a sub now, and it's free to Sword Stance, which was something I was fearing. And uh, yeah, I mean, I got nothing from this point on. I was so scared of this thing, I was just trembling in fear. And of course, he's gonna set up the Sword Stance, and I was scared here whether or not he had Outrage or if he had Aqua Tail. But Outrage might be the better movie he has here, but I just have Raw, and I'm so glad I have a face around this team. My god, this would have been turned terrifying. So, then Typhlosion's gonna come in, and I got one thing made for this Typhlosion. I was really fearing the Focus Blast here, but I had only one move I could make, and that was going into my Tyranitar. And you guys are now gonna see why Typhlosion is not higher than are you. Um, he takes this eruption so well. It's not even funny. It is not even funny how well it takes that. Granted, he has in 150 base instead of 200 due to him not being full of HP. But anyway, I predicted him to switch out there, so I thought, you know, I'm just gonna go for Pursuit. So I'm like, now he now he's dead by Stealth Rocks if he comes in again. So he's gonna bring the God Chump. I knew that he was a potential, you know, that he could go for um, uh, what do you call it, um, a substitute again or a Sword Stance, predicting a switch out. So I just went for Avalanche. He just no. If he goes for an Earthquake, you know, I'm gonna do double the damage and he's gonna be taken out. Um, but he actually goes for Sword Stance, which is much, much better. Um, I definitely needed that a lot. This God Chump is such a threat. What a Pokemon. What an a hole, really. So Infernape is gonna come in. Infernape is one of those Pokemon that, you know, if you have nothing for it, then you're gonna go down. So I was basically farting off my Powder at this point because I had no other play to make. And I was basically hoping I could go for Slack or anything like that, but he goes for aggressive play and taunts my Powdon, which made I should have probably stayed with my Tyranitar and went for an EQ and finish him off. But that did not come to fruition now, did it? So anyway, I am stupid enough to stay in, not seeing that he has two Pokemon immune to Earthquake. Yes. This was terrible. But I was predicting that he might go for Will-O-Wisp, but it's much more likely that he's going to kill my Powdon, so I thought Rex the Tyranitar come back in here 
and she she is mad she is truly mad so the he's gonna go for overheat it is not do a whole lot which tells me that it's not specs pro i was hoping for scarf so i just went for rock slide hoping we we're gonna switch out but he is actually able to switch moves he's gonna will wisp and he misses it and this rock slide is gonna kill the micro oven the rotom this is just terrible and this is just one of many terrible things that's gonna go down from now on. So he missed the first um, Will Wisp there. If is gonna come back in. And uh, like I said there, I am not sacking off the Tyranitar. Tyranitar is the wall for the um, uh, Talon Flame. So it's gonna go for close combat. And um, I was actually debating whether or not we we'll switch out. But and I am the Tinted Lens spec set here. And uh, I'm just gonna go for Air Slash. Um, there is no reason for me to do anything else. Just going for high as possible damage as possible. I know that Nine Tails is a thing, but I'm in a very fine position for that. And uh, yeah, you know we can do this. We can do this. So the Firefox is gonna draw the sand away, and um, however that works. And uh, the Air Slash is not doing the 50% I was hoping for. It's more in the you know 45-ish area. And I won't outspeed it, so I won't risk that. I'm gonna go back to Rex because I need to stand up. And you know, I can take whatever type of damage it's gonna go for. I was really hoping for a Solar Beam, but it's gonna Will O' Wisp and a miss again. Yes, it's insane. The second <laughs> Will O' Wisp miss. So it's gonna, of course, switch out. Not feeling that. You know, I did not go for Pursuit, which is probably something I should have done to end this struggle. But I thought that yeah, I might as well double switch back off. Hoping that the uh, Mephos can deal with um, the Infernape, which I was suspecting. But like I said, I should probably go for Pursuit. That was probably a bad move from my side, honestly. So I was basically banking here to take a Flare Blitz. I was really want to force him to do that play too. And um, yeah, not not gonna happen. But I can now force him to go for a Mac Punch. So I decided to bring Fulf, the monster, the monster, the one dog that's made from the sand. And he is not happy. He is not happy at all. And while the sand rages on, he will return. And Infernape is out of the way, which means that my... And I'm not gonna say it, but my Tranitar is now free to come and, and go as he pleases. Since his only Pokemon he got left is the Talon Flame and Nine Tails. He got Type Lotion too, but if I get up Stealth Rocks, then, you know, that game is over. So, um... He's actually gonna switch out his, um... His talent flame predicted me to switch in this Pokemon, and you know that's fine. That's fine. That's great. That is a uh, actually a very, very tremendous good play of my opponent. And you know the draw is him. I'm not gonna try to paralyze this thing. I just went back to Powdown, just bring him back to Sand. Really, since I have two Sand setters, there's just no. I was really hoping for him to lock himself into Solar Beam, uh, because then I have some free switchings for me. But he's just gonna Will Wisp, and he misses again. It's, it's just so fun. Damn. And the worst part is going to go for overheat this time, and it misses again! And I get up my stealth rocks, and <laughs> that is pretty much GG. It's incredible, and the thing is, I was really sacking off this Epoudon too, so that makes it even worse. So I get the rocks up, which means the type lotion is now dead, it doesn't matter if it's scoffed, it's gonna down on the switch, uh, down, it's gonna die on the switch, and, and uh, Ninetales is of course gonna get him, he's gonna get the Epoudon, and you know, that's fine, that's great, that is just the uh, worst, really. And, um... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bring in Keisher here just to. He really hasn't shown his brawn as right of now, and I thought that Rock Slide is a safer move. Hoping that he will switch out to Talon Flame actually. And um, yeah, he is not taking this. He is not. But he got the berry that resisted that damage, which is actually kind of cool. And I like that idea because it's very likely that you're gonna take a hit like that. So, major props for that, honestly. So the Talon Flame is going to fall, and the last Pokemon, of course, is the Ninetales, and uh, yeah. I could have sacked off Ex Excadrill here just for the hell of it, but I decided that, you know, I want to get the score even better. And he does barely survive with a Slither of Health, of course, with them um, from the Self Rocks. I decided that, you know what, let's bring the Sand, let's, let's make the Sand take him out just for the hell of it. And honestly here, you know, I'm just going to say it as it is. My opponent, you know, honestly, I think this game would have been much closer, if not even in worst case scenario, that would have won this battle because he missed three freaking Willow miss. And, um, yeah, I mean, had he uh, burned my Tyranitar, I would not have been able to take out Rotom. 
and uh, my Tyrantor would have been, you know, it would have fallen eventually due to the burn damage. It would come in on switchings and stuff like that. There is not a whole lot it can take, you know, while burn is going on. So I was, I would have been forced to play it very differently had that come to fruition. It, that did not happen though, and I guess that's fine to some extent, but yeah, that was really something that had had things gone his way, it's very likely that I would have lost, and you know, plus, you know, the prediction with the guard chomp, you know, he's going for sword stance instead of attacking my Tyranitar. Yeah, that that's a risky part, that's, you know, that's something you have to risk to win, and it worked my favor this time, and it might as well not have to. So, yeah. We got the third orb in the bag, and uh, yeah, that was actually, like I said, I'm not sure I deserve that win, I just, I don't. Um, and well, you know, we are actually even now by score now at least, so, you know, that's a thing. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I got enough of this. This is one of those cases where, ooh, how do you use that word? You know you really didn't deserve this win. I guess, you know, that's just me, honestly, you know, I'll see every battle as it is. And uh, this is one of those times where my opponent did so many good predictions on me and the game just wouldn't have him. I mean, he got at least five good predictions on me that could have ended in my demise. Two of those in the beginning that very was very, very tough for me because I almost lost my power on because of that. And, uh, you know, my switch out to, to the Willow Miss was um, one of those two. He made three of those and they all three missed. And it's just, it's one of the worst things that can happen. So, Esquilo, I want to thank you so much for this battle, and we will definitely have a real battle in the future, where hopefully Hex is not a part of it, because you're definitely a tremendously good battler, and it was very fun to have a chance to battle you again. So, with all that in mind, guys, I want to thank you for watching us always, of course, and remember to leave a like if you liked this battle, and if you didn't, make sure to leave a like anyway, because I care. Ish. And, you know, have a good day, and take care. And remember, sky is limit, bye. Blah. <laughs> 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 Smooth. This guy's leaving people. Have a good day and take care. Bye.